A standard right on effect in DaVinci Resolve is shockingly easy. You drag on a text plus effect, you enter your text, scroll down to right on, and simply keyframe the end position over the duration you want it to write on and easy. But what if you want to spice it up a little bit? In this video, we're gonna create a similar write on effect, but diving more into the advanced tools inside the text plus effect to add a blinking cursor as this text appears. Let's get started. I'll get rid of this text plus effect, drag in a new one, type in something nice like subscribe. Now for this effect, we will need to jump into the fusion page itself, but that can come a little bit later. Inside the inspector here, we have uh, a lot of the controls that you have access to on the fusion page, but we are missing the modifiers section, which will come in handy when we're actually animating this. But what we can do here on the edit page is come over to shading and I'm gonna come down to element four and check enabled. We are gonna need to work with this a little bit more, but of the first several uh, default options on the shading elements, four gets us closest. You'll see this gives us this blue background. And if you scale in, you'll see that these are actually individual backgrounds behind each of the letters. That is controlled here on this level. If you change that to line, you'll see that is around the entire line or just the word if you had multiple words, but we're gonna keep that on character. And we're just gonna change this to white. And that disappears, but that is okay for now. And we can mess with some of these other settings. I'm gonna bring down the extend vertical a bit. So it is only uh, the size of each of these letters and maybe the extend horizontal just a hair. Okay, so what we have here is the shading element one, which is our main text, and shading element four, which is these boxes over each letter. And now we can click uh, this little icon up here to load this effect inside the Fusion page. Great, we are in uh, the Fusion page with our default layout. And if we select that template, you see we have all these same options we had before, but now up here we have modifiers. We haven't added a modifier yet, we are going to do that by coming over to this first text page, right click inside this text box and select follower. That will enable this modifiers. And if we click over it, we have controls just for that follower. I'm gonna keep this delay type as between each character. Just turn that up a little bit. We will have to mess with this later, of course, to fine tune things. I'm going to zoom in here by holding middle mouse button and left mouse button just so we can see what we're working with a little bit more. You could always, of course, come back to tools and just size up this entire thing. But over in follower, I'm gonna come over to shading. Now on a bare bones layer, here's what this follower modifier is doing. That slider we increased will be the number of frames between each character and it's between each character playing out the animation that we are about to set up in the rest of this follower modifier. Just for example, I will come back to tools and we will turn off the shading element for this background. So we just have the text. Then if I come back into modifiers, come over to my shading element and I'll be on shading element one. We're going to go back to the beginning of our scene. I'm gonna come forward three frames and that will be uh, because of the animation we are going to add later. But just on this main text, after three frames, I'm gonna set a keyframe on this opacity, bring that all the way down to zero come forward one frame and increase that opacity to one. And you will see only the first letter appears and that's because of this delay we added. So that first character follows the actual keyframes we set up, but then that animation is delayed by that number of frames we set up. So over time, the rest of that text comes in. Now, if we go back to tools, turn on that shading element four, then we can come back to modifiers and move to four here as well. Now, and, in, and if we just scrub that, we'll see that that animation we already set up isn't affecting this scene because it is on a separate shading element. But we left that gap at the beginning. So on frame zero, I'm going to set that opacity to zero, come forward one frame, bring that opacity up, go forward another frame and bring the opacity back down. So now if we start to just uh, arrow through this scene, we will have a flash of this cursor, it'll go away flash the second cursor as this first character comes up. So we will have this cursor preceding each of these letters as they animate in. I'll hop back to the edit page, let this cache so we can preview it. So now when we play this back, it writes on with that flash of a cursor beforehand. And now because that animation is in place, uh, we can make any number of changes uh, to the look of this and it will just scale if we want this to be a pink cursor, we can do that just because. That full height cursor is one you see a lot, but you also see sort of that underscore cursor. So to create that, I'm coming down and making sure I have my position and size open. And I'm gonna pull down this Y 
so it is just thin on the bottom, maybe increase the X as well. And then now if we just let that cache and then play it back, we have a completely different style. I might give it a bit more space there, offset it just a bit. As that writes in. This is one super small slice of the power that comes from combining the follower modifier with the shading element tools inside the text plus effect. You can very easily add underlines or dynamic text boxes, all of which once you set the animation up will instantly change uh, no matter what words or styling you want to add to it. I have this subscribe in place with that animation, but I could always come back over to text and change this text to anything else I wanted. But once you swap that out, it plays back totally fine. I hope this encourages a lot of you to start messing around with the text plus effect. It's so powerful. If you want some more examples, I do have an essentials text animation pack that used a lot of these tools to animate text in and out in different ways. A lot of those using this follower engine. There are a lot more videos I could make about this and I plan on it if that's what you wanna see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.